Hi, I am Grace Presnick. I am an enterprise account executive here at Outreach. I work with current customers and new logo prospects, and I am in Outreach from the first thing in the morning until I'm done with all my follow-ups in the afternoon. So I'm gonna walk through a lot of my tips and tricks today. The first thing that I do is I look at my opportunities. So if I'm looking at my opportunities and I am wanting to update my next steps, that's where I might first go to to see, all right, this is closing in three weeks. What are the next steps that I have either on the books or I'm strategizing with my manager on doing? And then I can actually take action right here in outreach. So if I say, all right, I have a weekly meeting with my champion, but I have to, to be scheduled a meeting with Dominic and Miles, other people there, then I'm gonna go and I can actually, right from here, create a task to uh, call, email, sequence, Miles and Dominic to get a meeting on the books. I'm gonna create that task. So once I go through and strategize, like what are my top priority tasks I have to do for my current fiscal quarter pipeline, I can go consolidate those and execute on them in outreach. So as I'm going down, I might look to my next opportunity and see that um, I have a couple tasks due in my uh, success plan. So I can go in there and actually check that success plan, see what those tasks are. And again, if I have to actually take some action on them, um, I am able to see, like check in on AE inbox syncs as an idea because that is one of the next steps I have on my success plan. So here I'm basically going down and I'm seeing what next steps and what action items am I taking to progress my current quarter opportunities. That is the highest, most kind of highest priority, most important aspect of my day in sales. So once I have those tasks uh, consolidated and created, now I have a list of action items here on my dashboard. And these are really my AE specific tasks associated to my opportunities. So I'm able to see that I need to share a business case with my manager. Um, I need to reach out to Brian and Eric. So I can actually just start and execute on those tasks right from here and see, all right, I have to share this business case so I can go in, find the business case in Google Drive, send that to Dana, and then I actually can mark this complete and go on to the next like specific task that I have to do regarding my um, pipeline and the opportunities that I'm actually progressing. So a lot with that mid-cycle pipeline management, um, using outreach to really manage those opportunity tasks. Another thing is this is where I consolidate all of my op information so that when I have my pipeline review with my manager, we have a really uh, focused strategic conversation. So here is where I am easily able to update my next steps if I want to, you know, I did this actually today earlier because I had my pipeline call, but all my next steps are updated right from outreach. I can update the amount I can update the stage. I can update the close date as well to see maybe this is going to come in a little earlier than I had originally expected. So here's where I'm really managing all my pipeline. I feel secure that it's all going to be going back into Salesforce. I will look at my overall book of business. So when I pull it up into accounts, I am able to see here my, my book of business, my territory. And I have a lot of information right at my fingertips of really this is sorted by last contacted. So I might go and do a quick check once in a while, like who in my book of business hasn't been touched in about a week. So I can scroll down and see that a lot of my book of business is covered. I'm actually going to filter this down to just my customers as we're nearing the end of the fiscal year. Customers are high priority. So I'm going to go and see who hasn't been uh, contacted recently and let's see i have some people in and who have not been contacted in the last two weeks and so i'm going to select these ones select the prospects and just get some sort of contact with these customers so that we are always top of mind maybe i have a beta group that i want to reach out to them about or an end of year deal so i am going to reach out to somebody from somebody from and then uh somebody from now i know my book of business i know these people so you know selecting them based off of engagement in the past but here i can go to sequence them 
and say, uh, let's do this sequence that is for our end of year renewal pull-in sequence, which is going to be manual email, call, auto email. I'm gonna add them to that sequence so that, again, I'm staying on top of my territory management, making sure my customers are engaged with us on a regular basis and ensuring overall customer satisfaction. So again, I'd be able to go and execute on those tasks right from here, can select this task and send out that email really quickly over to Maggie um, right from here. So I have that email said and done. I can send that and complete. Now I wanna focus on my prospects. So like I had mentioned, I am in charge of working current customers, both renewals and expansions and prospects. So here I'm gonna go and kind of check in where my SDR is focusing, where can I help him um, get some meetings that we've talked about and just, yeah, stay a little bit more on top of things. So if I can see here, he is doing a great job uh, sequencing some of the top accounts that we've identified. Um, what I'm gonna do and go and see is where maybe he hasn't had a ton of success. So I can see right from here, there really hasn't been a lot of engagement with biotech, biotechny. So I'm gonna go into this account and see if I can use my title to help him with some of the emailing that he's doing. So I can even go in here, see the last email that he sent, and I can reply all and send a note from me saying, and now maybe seeing another name, seeing an account executive um, title is going to give Kevin a more likely good chance of replying and booking a meeting with us. Um, this is an area how we can kind of tag team prospecting, um, or I can even kind of look at the emails that my SDR sent and give him some feedback and say like, hey, I think maybe this would be better if you had a higher call to action or maybe CC'd me and introduced me a little bit more directly or maybe talked a little bit more about some of the customers that we already have in their industry and space. So I can kind of use this as coaching and co-prospecting. I keep a, a, a kind of a Rolodex of prospects and contacts that I, I talk with basically not on a regular basis, but people that I know will answer if I email them or call them. I use the favoriting feature here in Outreach to do that. So when I click into prospects, I see all of the contacts that I know that if Chris knows me, Matt knows me, Babesh knows me, like these people know who I am, I know who they are. And this is sort of my professional Rolodex here at Outreach. So th this is the group of people that around the holidays, I'm gonna send them a quick bulk compose. Thank you for being a customer. Um, or, or not even thank you for being customer. If they're prospects, I can kind of filter that down to the account status and understand um, if I want to say thank you for being a customer or just happy holidays. But a lot of those like smaller touches, event invites, here's the people that I just 138 people that will most likely reply. I can easily bulk compose or add a sequence, add them to a sequence um, for you know, when we invited them to Unleash, for example. That's a really low-hanging fruit list of people that, you know, I know will at least open my email and I'll get their attention. Another way that I use outreach on a very regular basis is Kaya. I live and breathe by looking at my call recordings. Um, so when I go into Kaya, I have it filtered down to attendees include you. So this is every meeting that I am on. I, as an example, had a demo yesterday, so I can click into this. And this meeting, the smart meeting summary is where I go to on a regular basis to get either prepare for the next meeting, follow up for from that meeting, um, or even update my internal resources on what is happening with this opportunity. So after this meeting, for an example, I sent the meeting summary to my SDR and I said, hey, we need to get in touch with some reps from this company because I really don't understand the use case enough to make an impact with the buyers that I'm talking with. I'd love for you to go focus and get me meetings there. I can also send this to my manager and say, hey, can you give me some feedback and coaching? Because I really struggled when we got to the point around how we differentiate from our competitors that they're also evaluating. So 
really easy. One of my favorite pieces of this is I can click compose email. And now I have an email generated, an email draft generated for my follow-up. Follow-ups are one of those things every AE has to do. Um, they're usually bottom of the list at the end of the day because they take a lot of time. So having the smart meeting summary basically just give me a launching pad, give me a head start on that follow-up is so helpful. There's time saving and it is so accurate that I rarely change or fix the information. It's more editing it down to make it a more consumable email, but I'd rather have more information and trim it down to what I want to send anyways. Um, so really helpful. And here I can go and edit this. I can add people if I want to um, from here and add people to the email thread and change that up. I can even add, you know, if one of the next steps is finding time in January, which for this example it was, I'm able to insert my proposed times right from here and send those times right here in the email. I'm also looking for, if I'm doing account planning as an example, so I might want to look for every meeting that um, I've been on with, for example. So here's my, actually, I don't want it to be just because I took this account over earlier. So I want to do a quick search. Are they using Clary? I want to double check. Has it been, has it been said? I can really quickly see, you know, um, some of the quick notes doesn't look like they're using Clary. Are they using Mixmax? Okay, Mixmax is brought up a lot and I can see that they definitely are using Mixmax um, just based off of the quick notes that Kaya allows me to see. So this is really helpful, just kind of backtracking. I also look a lot to see like when is their fiscal year? So I can kind of look quickly into these and basically helps me search all of my conversations and consolidate the account information that I have. I would say where I use outreach the most is in my inbox. So for an example here, I got an intro email to um, a peer that my, or to a uh, network peer that my teammate knows. And so really quickly, I'm going to highlight over and just see who this is. Um, looks like their name is Tyler. So now I can kind of see like Okay, they're a VP at one of my prospect accounts. This is great. Kind of pull this over. I can see their LinkedIn, learn a little bit more about this person. They've been there for a year. Um, let's see if I, or if I've met with them, they haven't met with anybody that's where it's recorded. They have met with an old SDR here, but that looks like it was about three years ago. So nothing really um, recent. So I'm going to take this and, you know, reply all and thank her for the intro and then send out my meeting invite. I also want to make sure that they're, if they don't reply, I have sort of some air coverage to make sure that I don't let this just kind of slip through the cracks. So I'm going to say bump this email to the top of my inbox. If there's no reply in two days at 8 a.m., I'm going to set that reminder so that I can follow up with Tyler and make sure that he actually goes and books meeting with me. So that is a, a handful of ways of how I use outreach from prospecting, territory management, forecasting, uh, mid-cycle pipeline management, and just overall engaging with my book of business. Um, I don't know what I would do without outreach as an AE, and it is like having a personal assistant, even if you're an individual contributor. Wow.